Hi class, in this recording we're going to be focusing on the bones of the thoracic cage. In Visible Body, I have Anatomy Atlas here pulled up, and I'm going to go to the Skeletal System views and click on view number 10, the thoracic cage. I like this view because it shows you some of the organs, some of the soft tissues of the thoracic cage, so you can have a better frame of reference. We can see a heart, we can see some lungs, we can see the diaphragm, we can see the larynx up here. So you have an idea of what we're looking at, and we have a frame of reference. But I'm going to clean up our view a little bit right now. I'm going to remove all ligaments from our view, and now I'll remove the respiratory system. Here I'll remove the digestive system. Let's get rid of all the muscles. And this is a much cleaner view of our thoracic cage. It's much nicer to work with this view. So when we're looking at thoracic cage, the first bone I want to focus on is the sternum. And I'll go ahead and just highlight the whole sternum for us here. So the sternum's broken up into three parts. Uh, the superior margin of the sternum is referred to as the manubrium. The main portion of the sternum is called the body. And the tip of the sternum is the xiphoid process. Early anatomists thought the sternum resembled a sword with the manubrium being the hilt, the body, or a gladiolus if you're old school, like me, being the blade, and then the xiphoid process being the tip of the blade. We also have a bunch of ribs that attach to the sternum. These ribs are numbered for the thoracic vertebrae that they attach to. As we look at the ribs, there are 12 ribs that correspond to the 12 thoracic vertebrae. Nearly all of the ribs, or most of the ribs, are going to have a little piece of hyaline cartilage that then attaches directly to the sternum. These ribs that have hyaline cartilage, or costal cartilage, uh, costal meaning hyaline cartilage attached to a rib, these ribs that have their cartilage go directly to the sternum are referred to as true ribs. And as we look at these ribs, these true ribs, they are going to extend all the way down here. And as we're looking at our ribs, we have a true rib right here. It goes all, it has this cartilage go all the way up. And then we have another true rib right here. So ribs one through seven are the true ribs. And then we enter the false ribs. The false ribs do not have cartilage, which attaches directly to the sternum. So as I look at this piece of cartilage right here, this chunk of cartilage, I'll go ahead and annotate in green, my favorite color. We have a piece of costal cartilage right here that does not connect directly to the sternum, which is up here. Instead, this costal cartilage attaches to another piece of cartilage. Because that cartilage attaches to other cartilage, this isn't, these ribs are not true ribs, they are false ribs. A false rib does not have cartilage that attaches to the sternum. And there's two flavors of false ribs. We have false attached and false floating. So let me bring this up here. We have one, two, three false attached ribs, and then two false floating ribs. So we need you to know that there are seven true ribs and then there are five false ribs. Three of them are attached, two of them are floating. And that's all we have for the th bones of the thoracic cage. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them on the class discussion board or shoot me an email. Happy studies.